Now, you wouldn't normally associate Excel with having the need for a spell checker, but one exists for the times when you do need it. And pretty much like Word, it will run, check your wording, offer alternatives, and allow you to add new spellings to the dictionary as you go. To run the spell checker, you simply have an open file, go to the review ribbon, and choose spelling. Or the keyboard shortcut is F7, and F7 or Kitchen Spelling will bring up the spell checking dialog box. So it's checking against United States spellings for English words, finds date added in my file, you can see it's selected that behind in Excel, and offers me a suggestion of date added with a space in between, so it becomes two words. I quite like that option, so I can choose change. I could choose change all to change every occurrence of date added spelt like that into spelling like this. I could add date added to the dictionary, so without the space, so then it will not spell check it again. Or I could tell it to ignore it on this occasion or ignore it on all occasions, but that's only applicable to this sheet. There is even an option to add into autocorrect, which would mean every time you typed date added like that, it would automatically change it into date added like that. Sometimes that can be quite useful, other times that can be annoying. In this particular case, I just want to run change, which will change date added without a space into date added with a space. And then it jumps to the next typing, which says misses, perhaps ought to be misses with a full stop. Well, actually it's misses with a full stop that I would like it changing to. Now I know in this data set that there are a lot of misses, so I could change all, so that will change every occurrence of misses to misses full stop, change all. Then it finds Thirsk, which is a town, but offers me some suggestions because it doesn't recognize it as a town. Because it's a town, I'm likely to need that same word over and over again. It would be a good idea to add it to the dictionary. So I can add Thirsk to the dictionary, and then it won't find it as misspelling ever again. So that's not just for this sheet, that's for evermore. Similar with Bramley, it's a location. It's not really a very popular location, so I'm not going to add it to the dictionary. I'm just going to choose Ignore All. So every time Bramley occurs in this spreadsheet, it will be ignored. The same happens with Huddersfield, another town, quite a popular town, so let's add to the dictionary. Then it finds Mario.d, it's not happy with that, not in the dictionary, I'm going to ignore it once. Fonteroy, another surname it's not happy with. If it's a popular surname, I would add it to the dictionary. If it's not so popular, I can just choose ignore all. Then we come to div, which is our abbreviation in the data for divorced. It's offering me div or another of a few options for div. It's actually none of those. It is div that we want. So I'm going to choose ignore all. Then it finds another location, possibly add to the dictionary. Let's ignore all. Another location, ignore all. Ms, should be Ms with a full stop. Change all. Dunrowing is a location, ignore. Same for Shilston. Now Middlesbrough is quite popular, so let's add to dictionary. Ignore Snailston, ignore Tatlock, ignore Hedden. And because of the makeup of our data, it's going to pretty much find all those surnames are not very happy. Now we need to step through and ignore, or if we think, well, we've checked the main spellings, we can actually close the spell checker at this stage. Spell check complete, you're good to go. So that's the spell checker in Excel. Probably not going to be used as much as you would in a word processor, but it still exists and it's still quite useful. F7, the keyboard shortcut to start it, or the review ribbon and spelling, and that will start your spell checker. And away it will go. Now, if you've already spell checked this document up to a point, as we have, and we've told it to ignore some words, add others to the dictionary, change some words, those changes and those ignores have all been remembered and it effectively will continue spell checking from where it got to. And we would then step through with all the same options. Ignore once, ignore all, add to the dictionary for popular words that you're likely to reuse, and then change, change all, and then auto-correct for common misspellings that you want the system to change automatically for you.